Hello people, welcome back. So this question is from GATE 2004 exam and is for two marks. It's from the concept of DMA. Let me read out the statement, then I'll provide the solution to this question. A hard disk with a transfer rate of 10 MB per second is constantly transferring data to memory using DMA. The processor runs at 600 megahertz and takes 300 and 900 clock cycles to initialize and complete DMA transfers respectively. If the size of transfer is 20 KB, what is the percentage of processor time consumed for transfer operation? Okay, so they are talking about a system in which the processor needs to spend 300 clock cycles to initialize a DMA transfer. Okay, these 300 clock cycles will be used for providing the necessary information to the DMAC chip that is the base address from where the transfer needs to begin and how many bytes will be transferred and so on. Similarly, 900 more clock cycles are needed to complete a DMA transfer. One DMA transfer is of 20 KBs. Okay. So what this means is whatever is the total time taken for this transfer. Initially, we need to spend 300 clock cycles. After that, rest of the transfer, the actual data transfer will be done by this DMA chip. Okay. Then at the end of this uh, transfer, CPU again needs to spend 900 clock cycles. They are asking what percentage of time is spent by the CPU. The line is what is the percentage of processor time consumed for the transfer operation. <clears throat> so that will be percentage of CPU time consumed. This will be total time with, uh, sorry, this will be A plus C because CPU spends only a total of 1200 clock cycles. This much and this much. So this will be time spent by CPU divided by the total time taken. Total time taken is this much, which is A plus B plus C in 200 percent. Okay. So this will be your answer. Now we need to determine what is B and what is A plus C. Let's first determine what is B. That means how much time is taken for the actual data transfer. This will be determined by the speed of hard disk. Okay. Speed of hard disk is given as 10 MB per second. Let's find out at this speed how much time will one block take. One block is of 20 KB. Let's find it out. One, uh, sorry, the speed is 10 MB per second. 10 MB take one second. One byte will take one upon 10 M seconds. This will be one upon 10 into 10 raised to the power 6 seconds. Okay. Let's find out the time for 20 KBs now. 20 KB will take 20 into K divided by 10 into 10 raised to the power 6 seconds. Okay. One byte requires this much time. 20k bytes will require this into 20k. Okay, that is this much. So this comes out to be 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 seconds, which is 2 millisecond. So we have found out that B comes out to be 2 millisecond. Okay. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is value of m is not 2 raised to the power 20. It's actually 10 raised to the power 6. Because here we are talking about speeds. It's not the amount of data. It is speed or you can say it's bandwidth. Now, we have already seen that whenever it's some amount of data, the values uh, of k, m and g are powers of 2. But whenever it's speed, the values are in powers of 10. Okay, 
सो वी हैव डिटरमाइंड दैट दिस मच टाइम इज टू मिली सेकेंड्स नाउ लेट्स डिटरमाइन वॉट एज ए प्लस सी दैट मीन्स हाउ मच टाइम द सी पी यू स्पेंड इन दिस ट्रांसफर दैट इज ए प्लस सी सो दैट इज द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड क्लॉक साइकिल्स सी पी यू रन दैट सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ड्स सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा क्लॉक साइकिल्स रिक्वायर वन सेकेंड दिस इज मीनिंग ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ड्स सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ड्स मीन्स टाइम्स पर सेकेंड दैट मीन्स सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा क्लॉक्स आर जनरेटेड इन वन सेकेंड सो दिस विल बी वन क्लॉक साइकिल रिक्वायर वन अपॉन सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेज टू दी पावर सिक्स सेकेंड्स देन लेट्स फाइंड इट आउट फॉर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड क्लॉक साइकिल्स ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड क्लॉक साइकिल्स विल रिक्वायर टू माइक्रो सेकेंड्स में भी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेज टू दी पावर सिक्स सेकेंड्स सो दिस इज टू अपॉन टेन रेज टू दी पावर सिक्स दैट इज टू माइक्रो सेकेंड्स सो दिस वन इज टू माइक्रो सेकेंड्स नाउ यू हैव द फॉर्मूला जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज एंड फाइंड यू आंसर ए प्लस सी दैट इज द टाइम स्पेंड बाय सी पी यू कम्स आउट टू बी टू माइक्रो सेकेंड्स एंड द टाइम स्पेंड बाय डी एम ए इज टू मिली सेकेंड सो द टोटल टाइम विल बी टू माइक्रो प्लस टू मिली सो लेट मी जस्ट फाइंड दिस आउट सो आई एम डूइंग इट हेयर द परसेंटेज विल बी now this will be around 0.1% okay if you neglect this value this will be around 0.1% also you can consider it if you want still it will be around 0.1% because two microsecond is very small as compared to two milliseconds okay so your answer is 0.1% of time of cpu is wasted for this transfer okay